Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the chords that we can produce out of a major scale. And here we have a C major scale, uh, composed of obviously C, D, E, F, G, A, B and C again. On top of this note we're going to add a E and then G and then we have the first triad here then we go here um, that we're going to add F and A here we're going to add G and B and here we're going to add F uh, I mean A and C and here on G we're going to add B and D and here C and E and here it's going to be D and F and obviously here we repeat what we have here E and G which is going to be E and G listen to the sound that every single chord makes uh, apparently as far as we can see here every single chord should sound the same let's see if it's true that sounds like a major chord that actually sounds like a minor chord uh, we'll try to find out why it's not sounding like a uh, the same as this as a major chord when it really looks the same uh, oh this is a minor chord again just listen to the difference between that and that this one sounds like a major chord and this one like a major chord again a minor chord wow this one none of them this sounds like a diminished chord and obviously here we have the repetition of this one one octave up remember in the last video we were saying that the major chord was composed of uh, four and three semitones for example if we start from C it's gonna be one two three four so it's gonna be C E and then zero one two three so it's gonna be C E and G and uh, well let's check what happened if we start doing the same from here um, from here to here we should have four semitones if we are to have a major chord but actually we have one two three just three that is the cause of our minor chord here in E if you look at that this C, E and G they look the same as uh, D, um, F and A but it's actually not the same because the distance between these two notes is wider than the distance between these two notes from the number of semitones point of view because if you measure it well yes and the keyboard looks the same but it's not the same is going to happen with this E minor here from here to here we're going to have only three semitones one two three instead of having four which would make it a major chord so it's, it's a minor chord because it's got one two three and from here one two three four so it's a three semitones four semitones makes it a minor chord then when we go to the F major F a and C well we have a major chord again then with G we have a major chord again when we go to A we got 0 1 2 3 it, this is a minor chord again uh, because it's 1 2 3 and then 1 2 3 4 this is a typical minor chord and uh, it's a very uh, special case when we go to the B here we go 
uh, one, two, three, that makes you think that might be a minor chord, but then we count again, one, two, three, and we have that with B, D, and F, we actually have a diminished chord. Every single chord in this uh, that we built on the uh, on a major chord on a major uh, scale has a, a function, and uh, we give these functions uh, a name. Uh, this is it's called the tonic or degree one. Uh, this one has another name. Uh, we're not going to refer to the other name that has, but we're just going to refer to this as a second degree. This one is going to be the third degree. This is a very important one, and we not only call it the fourth degree, but also uh, the subdominant. This one is uh, another very important one, perhaps even more important than the subdominant. This is the dominant or the fifth degree. Then we have the 6th degree, the 7th degree, and then obviously the tonic again, which is actually the same chord as that one. On a major scale, um, the chords, the triads that we form uh, out of a major scale will have always these uh, uh, modes, which are going to be major for the first one, minor for the second, minor for the third, major for the fourth, uh, major for the fifth, minor for the sixth, and a diminished mode for uh, the seventh. This is, um, is working on the C major scale. What happens if we want to do the same uh, departing from another scale? Say we start from D. We're just going to transpose, quick transpose all these one uh, uh, tone up. We're just going to go one step up to uh, build a uh, scale uh, based on D, as you can see here. D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and D. Okay, in theory we should have the same, and uh, let's let test it. Uh, this one should be a major chord, this one should be a minor chord, minor chord, major chord, major chord, minor chord, and a diminished chord. Let's see if it's true. We failed already. This is a minor chord. Uh, we need to do some changes here to get it as a major chord. But uh, we're just going to leave it like that for a second. And this one is, is a minor chord. It's okay. This is what we expected here. So there's no change it should happen there. This is, wow, this is a major chord. Uh, I know that not everybody is able to uh, uh, hear the difference between major and minor chord. Uh, but uh, if you are not, well, just uh, trust me. Uh, that really sounds like a major chord. Uh, for sure, with practice, uh, eventually you will get to differentiate it. But uh, this is more theoretical, what we try to explain here. And this is, this is a major chord, which we expect, we expect it in, in a m major uh, scale-based uh, set of chords. Then we here have uh, the fifth, the dominant, but it's a minor chord. That is not right. We need to do another change here. Okay. Um, then we have, uh, we'll come back to this one. Um, wow, this is a diminished chord. Something should change here too. Okay, and. Uh, Wow, and this is the seventh. This is, should be a diminished chord, and um, but this doesn't sound like a diminished. It sounds like a major chord to me. And wow, we have a tonic again here, and the tonic should be a major. Let's go and, and fix this. 
if the, the tonic sounds like a minor chord then uh, is um, because the distance between this and no D and F is not actually of four semitones but just three semitones to increase the distance we're just going to put the sharp there and then you see that's good because now this sounds like a major chord let's see this one was all right was sounding like a minor chord and that what we expected the third well the third sounds like a major chord and should sound like a minor chord and to be consistent with this sharp we put here we're just going to put a sharp there and see what happens we sharpen F well it's not what we expected this is sounding like a diminished chord to make it sound like a minor chord do you remember the diminished chord has three semitones here and three semitones here we need three and four here to make it sound like a minor chord so we're just going to put the sharp there and now we have a minor chord which we expected for a, a, a third degree then here nothing we need to do here because this is already a major and then we have this one here uh, which is dominant but what kind of dominant can be with a minor chord we need to do something about this from here to here we have only three semitones and we need four so in order to increase distance we're just going to put the sharp here and C and from C to E C sharp to E we have only three semitones that makes a nice major chord now let's go to the next one this one sounds diminished and it should be a minor uh, how do I make it uh, sound like a minor well we have here three semitones which we expect but here again three semitones that we didn't expect that we need that to be four semitones distance so we're just going to put a sharp there and then we have a minor chord and then here um, well we should expect a diminished chord here let's listen to it and it sounds really like a major chord something's not right here uh, in order to create a diminished chord first of all going to try to be consistent to what we've been doing here and we have uh, that all the C's uh, have been sharp so we're just going to put a sharp C here then the distance between C and uh, E is going to be shorter now it's to be four as before now it's going to be a uh, three semitones um, from here to here we already have three semitones difference that means that this is already diminished chord okay and here we just have a repetition of this one but uh, obviously we need to change this into a, a sharp uh, F in order to increase the distance between uh, D and F into four semitones but now as you can see here we've been making change changes that uh, uh, perhaps if we do a little change here that can save us uh, the job of putting every single sharp and flats um, to do that we're just going to add a time signature here that complies with all that if you look at the sharps they only fall on two different notes which are F here here and C here 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 so if we create a key signature here that uh, could uh, sharpen C and F that will save us from putting every single sharp and uh, in C and F and now just look at this I just put a sharp here and the key signature on F 
and C, and we have that all the Fs are sharp already, and they, if we play them, it's going to sound like major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished, and major again. We can do this uh, with every single key. We're just going to go uh, changing uh, the um, uh, notes and especially the distance between the two notes. Even if they look the same, we need to make sure that the distance between uh, the notes that form the triads are consistent in every single key. So we have created a, a set of uh, uh, triads uh, following a structure which are a major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished and major again.